So in your robotics kit, there are three different robots. There's the Codingo Mouse, there's the Ozobot, and then there's the Sphero. What I'm going to talk about first today is the Codingo Mouse in your robotics box. So this one is really easy to use. It gets people to start understanding um, the computational thinking of sequencing. Um, so in your box um, with your mouse, you also have these cards. These cards are great because you can use these cards to help pre-plan and lay out the path that you want the mouse to go. And ways that you can use this mouse are you can have them plan like an obstacle course and they have to like get through the obstacle course. So you create it or they can create it. Then they can lay down the cards next to the obstacle course and they can plan out their route. And one of the great things is that it gets them thinking in the spatial um, world of three dimensions, how to go through and make step-by-step -step, um, progress into the final outcome. And that's what we call it an algorithm. Algorithms are really um, important in coding. Um, algorithms help um, us actually have a series of events that lead to a final outcome. And that's what this gets you started to thinking in the whole idea of computer science um, and computational thinking is laying out that algorithm. Then one of the cool things is then they can debug. So that means they can go through and look and see it, the sequence and figure out if there's something wrong with it. You can have someone else do that. You can do that for um, your child or for your client, whatever role you're playing here. Um, it's something that you could, could do on a virtual support where you could have them see a maze and they can have the cards here and plan out their route. And then you guys can talk about what algorithm is best and why, um, which ones have to be debugged. Um, it's a lot of thought and processing. Then just to use the mouse on the bottom here, after you put the battery in, you need to make sure you turn it on. You can turn it on normal. And you'll hear the sound go on. Then all you do is hit the buttons, and this can hold up to like 40 different commands at a time. So you go forward, forward, left, left. Then you hit the green button, and then it should start working. And it should travel the path. Then you can hit the red button to clear it all out. Start over and put a different code in. So it's really good for that. You can do it for reviewing concepts. What we've done in the past is make a grid of blocks on like a large sheet of paper, and then put down different things like all even all numbers. Like you can do numbers one through a hundred or one through however many on the board on post-it notes, and you can have the um, the client or your son or daughter code the mouse to go to all the even numbers. Then you have them code the mouse to go to all the odd numbers. So you can do it to review a lot of concepts on that board. You can also put down pictures and have them um, code and tell a story as they go through the, the pictures. They could have that as sequences of events. They can tell you the first, second, third, fourth, fifth sequence of a, in a, a, a sequence of events, if I can speak, um, or a cycle so that they can actually program the mouse to go to the right um, sequence. So it's great for review of lots of different things. So that's why we like the Code and Go mouse. It's really simple to use and gets um, people started understanding that, that robotics piece, but also that, that computational thinking and computer science piece that gets them into coding as well in the future. So play around with the mouse. I hope it is successful and you have a lot of fun with that mouse.